Once you have downloaded Rockmelt and you go to install it, you'll need to put in your Facebook email address, authorize permission for Rockmelt by clicking Allow. You'll also see that you'll need to import your settings from a different browser. You can pick which browser. When it loads, the page will look very similar to Google Chrome, and you'll see a splash screen that says how you could share, search, connect with your friends, and keep up on the news. So notice that it gives you a quick tutorial of all the different features so far inside the Rock Melt system. And if we browse off to a website such as Facebook.com, you'll see that your page loads just the same as any other browser normally would. Um, with the exception that on the left hand side you do have a quick short link navigation to others that stays with you throughout the browser not just within a website so the website functions normally and on the right hand side of your screen you'll see that there is a way to see other news feeds so you could get in and browse around for some of those news feeds you could also connect in your apps and specific social networking sites so now I will connect my Twitter account and sign in with that. You'll notice that it brings me out to the website and asks me again, do I want to share this with Rockmelt? Once I do, I'm also checking in on the Facebook news feed so I can see I've connected in my Facebook account and I've given it permission. And the other option here just shows you your quick notices. So the one shows you actually the content of your news feed in, in Facebook. The other one shows you just the notices. And then at the very top, you'll see your invites area. And it shows you who already has a Rockmount account based on the logo and who does not. Here's a quick tip on sharing articles. If you're looking at an article to share, you could send it uh, through a post to your wall or send it to a specific person. Lastly, take a look on the left hand side. Here is all of the people that I have connected. I just clicked on the circle on the top left area. There's a star and a circle. I clicked on the circle. And as I'm going through, I could see all of the people in my friends list. If I want to mark some people as my favorites, I will type in a friend's name search for that person and then I could click a star beside their name. What that will do is notice on the left hand side I have a little yellow star under my profile picture. That means this is a quick shortcut to view all of those that are my favorites and I could switch back to the show all option as well. And so that's going to give me an easy way to view all of my connections inside of Rockmelt.